A car's transmission is working against itself every single day. Every gear shift wastes energy, creates noise, and adds hundreds of pounds of dead weight. But what if next-generation cars won't need traditional multi-speed gearboxes at all? This isn't some distant fantasy, it's happening right now. Companies like Lamborghini are already building supercars using revolutionary actual flux motors, specifically YASA, or yokeless and segmented armature, designs that drastically reduce reliance on complex gear systems and deliver instant power the moment the pedal is pressed. The technology that makes this possible will change everything you think you know about how cars work. But first, it's important to understand the problem these motors are designed to solve. Every time a car speeds up, it's fighting a 150-year-old problem. Its transmission wastes 15% of engine power before it even reaches the wheels. These traditional systems suffer from three core issues, wasted energy from friction, significant extra weight, and mechanical complexity. These aren't just minor flaws, they limit a car's potential daily. During a gear change, drivers rarely notice a brief dead zone, where no power reaches the wheels. The engine runs, fuel burns, but for those critical milliseconds, energy vanishes. Race car drivers know this as the torque gap, the enemy of smooth acceleration. Inside, hundreds of metal gear teeth constantly grind under pressure, generating heat and stealing power. Modern transitions with over 300 moving parts inherently lose power this way. A typical automatic transmission alone can lose about 15% of engine power just moving its own components. The transmission's weight further compounds problems. An 8-speed automatic weighs 180 to 220 pounds, like carrying two extra passengers. This dead weight sits low, raising the car's balance point and forcing more energy use for every acceleration or turn. High-performance transmissions can exceed 250 pounds. This mechanical complexity leads to constant inefficiencies. Gear wind signals imperfect meshing, and shift clunks and jolts through the car. This same complexity makes transmissions one of the most expensive repairs. Hundreds of rubbing parts wear out, clutches degrade, valves clog, gears loosen, and torque converters fail. Each part is a potential breakdown point. Oddly, even modern electric vehicles often use traditional transmissions. Electric motors provide instant power without gears, and yet manufacturers still add these heavy, complex, and inefficient systems. It's like using a typewriter to send an email. It misses the point of simple, direct power. Solving this century-old problem requires completely rethinking how engines and motors deliver power. How actual flux motors work. The solution to old power problems comes from a radical idea. What if magnets spun sideways instead of in circles? This isn't a small engineering change. It's a complete rethink of how electric motors make power, fundamentally changing how vehicles operate. Traditional electric motors use what engineers call radial flux design. Imagine the magnetic force pushing outward from the center, like spokes on a bicycle wheel. Magnets surround a cylinder, creating a spinning force. This works, but it's not the most efficient. Actual flux motors flip this idea. Instead of magnets around a cylinder, they face each other across the flat disk. The magnetic force flows sideways along the rotor's center, like two spinning plates with an invisible pool between them. Here's the interesting part. Radial flux motors are everywhere, while actual flux motors have largely remained rare due to manufacturing hurdles. The powerful magnetic forces trying to pull these facing discs together required heavy iron frames to stop the motor from tearing itself apart. The YASA breakthrough changes everything. YASA stands for Yokeless and Segmented Armature. This design eliminates the heavy iron frame found in traditional motors. Instead, YASA uses custom bindings and advanced materials for a much lighter structure. The segmented armature divides the copper wires into individual pieces, allowing coolant to flow directly through them for better cooling. Think of it this way. Radial motors are like pushing a merry-go-round from the outside, 
fighting against its resistance. Actual motors push from above and below at the same time, creating a more direct and powerful push. The magnetic force hits the copper wires head on, not at an angle, maximizing efficiency and minimizing wasted energy. This pancake-shaped design directly transfers power without needing gears to multiply the force. While radial motors often rely on complex gear systems, actual flux motors create massive power directly. This means instant power the moment electricity flows through the motor. No gears means no power interruptions, no delays, and no energy loss from metal parts rubbing together. The power to rate ratio truly shows the advantage. Each YASA motor, like those in the Lamborghini Ruvelto, weighs just 17.3 kilograms, or about 38 pounds, but produces 110 kilowatts, or roughly 148 horsepower. It's barely thicker than a large pizza box at just 70 millimeters thick. The segmented design offers another key benefit, cooling. Gaps between the copper wires allow coolant to flow right through the motor's core, enabling high power output for longer without overheating. Traditional motors struggle with heat buildup in their dense copper windings, which limits performance during extended use. Actual flux motors deliver instant smooth power by removing the complex mechanical parts that traditional systems require. They create a direct path from electrical energy to wheel movement. No gears, no delays, no power interruptions. Just pure electrical force converted directly into motion. This technology isn't just theoretical. It's already powering some of the world's most advanced vehicles, fundamentally challenging everything known about car engineering. The Lamborghini Ruvelto hypercar uses three separate motors to control each wheel with incredible precision, moving beyond traditional gears entirely. This fundamentally shifts automotive engineering, utilizing three YASA actual flux motors to challenge how we've always thought about power delivery. It's not just about making cars faster, it's about creating vehicles that react like living organisms. The engineering is truly remarkable, each YASA motor weighs only 17.3 kilograms and is just 70 millimeters thick, about the size of a large pizza box. Yet, each delivers 110 kilowatts or roughly 148 horsepower. All three motors combined produce over 440 horsepower from components lighter than a standard transmission. This translates into real-world benefits, faster throttle response, smoother cornering, and immediate power adjustments at electrical speeds, eliminating mechanical delays. One motor is built directly into the V8 engine housing, sitting between the engine and the dual-clutch transmission. This motor does several jobs. It's a starter motor, a generator, and it seamlessly fills power gaps, for instance where turbos might lag at low speeds. The other two motors control the front wheels independently, offering unparalleled control. Torque vectoring transforms how the vehicle responds to the driver. Each motor can instantly adjust power to optimize cornering, acceleration, and stability. When entering a sharp turn, the system can reduce power to the inside wheels and boost it to the outside, actively helping the car rotate. This happens in microseconds, far faster than mechanical differentials. Weight distribution also improves. Instead of concentrating mass in one heavy transmission, the Revolto strategically places power sources throughout the chassis. This lowers the center of gravity and enhances overall balance. Independent motor control enables stability systems that react at electrical speeds. Traditional stability control applies brakes to manage vehicle dynamics. The Revolto can instantly adjust power, preventing instability before it even develops. Each motor acts as both an accelerator and a brake, providing unmatched command. The system's efficiency benefits go beyond just performance. The Revolto uses a small 3.8 kilowatt battery compared to typical electric vehicles, contributing to its overall efficiency. This compact battery is possible because the motors are incredibly power dense and eliminate the energy lost in geared systems.
Electric aircraft are the ultimate test of this technology. Traditional aviation motors are simply too heavy, demanding huge batteries that create a cycle of endless weight. YASA motors break this by offering immense power in a light package, eliminating heavy gear systems. This compact design lets aircraft makers put multiple motors on wings, creating redundant power rays for safer, more reliable electric flight. For motorcycles and urban air taxis, gearless operation means easier use and silent function. Motorcycles become simpler with smooth silent acceleration that feels like pure energy. Passenger drones and air taxis benefit from this simplicity too, using multiple small motors for precise, redundant control. If one motor fails, others compensate, all without extra weight. Manufacturing is simplified because gearless systems use far fewer parts. This cuts production costs and maintenance for all vehicle types. Fewer booming parts means fewer breakdowns, lower maintenance bills, and easier repairs. Imagine a drone so quiet, it's like a gentle breeze. How would that change our cities? Beyond zero emissions, these electric motors eliminate noise pollution. They allow new transportation options, including quiet night operations and access to residential areas that traditional vehicles can't achieve. What happens when an entire century of automotive engineering becomes obsolete overnight? The transition to gearless transportation represents fundamentally simpler machines. They require less maintenance, create less noise, and open possibilities we are only beginning to understand. YASA motors, with their yieldless and segmented armature design, allow for better cooling and more efficient energies, representing a shift towards machines or structure becomes function itself. The question isn't whether gearless motors will replace traditional transmissions, but how quickly the entire transportation industry will adopt to this inevitable future. What vehicle would you like to see go gearless next?